is an honor to be joining you here tonight for this important time on, on the House floor. And I come here to appeal to all of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, Republicans and Democrats, to reject the anti-Israel and anti-Semitic hatred that we are starting to see infiltrating American politics and even the halls of Congress. It is important that we all come together, that we work together, not in power, not embrace, associate with individuals and rhetoric and policy that promotes this anti-Israel and anti-Semitic hatred, but that we reject it. It was just a couple weeks ago that this chamber came together nearly unanimously to reject white supremacy. What is taking so long for House Democratic leadership to schedule a vote on House Resolution 72 that I introduced with Congressman Budd, Congresswoman Stefanik, Congressman Walker is a co-sponsor, and others as well. Why can't we come together as forcefully and urgently to reject that anti-Semitism and that anti-Israel hatred? We have House Democrats who have associated with, taken pictures with, embraced Louis Farrakhan. He said, quote, so when they talk about Farrakhan, call me a hater. You do what they do. Call me an anti-Semite. Stop it. I'm anti-termite. Louis Farrakhan said that last year. He also said satanic Jews have infected the whole world with poison and deceit. This is offensive to me as someone who's Jewish, but I'm talking to colleagues who aren't Jewish, and they're offended as well by Farrakhan, and also the fact that there are members of this chamber who associate with this person. 1984, Farrakhan said about Adolf Hitler, quote, he was a very great man. Activist Tamika Mallory called Louis Farrakhan, quote, the greatest of all time. Her fellow organizer, Linda Sarsour, said, quote, only Jews are ones that condone violence against Arabs and are cool with mosques being attacked. I have no problem standing here in the well of this chamber and rejecting it. I don't know what is taking so long for House Democratic leadership to schedule a vote on House Resolution 72 so that they can join us in condemning it as well. There's a freshman representative from Michigan, Representative Rashida Tlaib, who supports the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement. She invited Abbas Hamida to attend her swearing in events this month. Abbas said in 2016, quote, Israel does not have a right to exist. The terrorist entity is illegal and has no basis to exist other than a delusional ISIS-like ideology. Also stated this month, that person said, I quote, I'm willing to go back to my country, Palestine, if the Zionist terrorists go back to Poland. Deal? Let's get that ball rolling ASAP. Get off Twitter and let's make that happen. This same representative said of those who support Israel, quote, they forgot what country they represent. Well, as someone who has been in the United States Army for over 15 years, have deployed into combat in defense of this country, a former Army paratrooper with the 82nd Airborne Division, I never once in my life have forgotten what country I represent. And it's kind of ironic that someone who on the victory night rape, wraps themselves in a Palestinian flag is trying to lecture us, especially for supporting our nation's greatest ally in Israel. The boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement is one that is founded by someone named Omar Bergadi, who said, quote, we are witnessing the rapid demise of Zionism and nothing can be done to save it for Zionism is intent on killing itself. I, for one, support euthanasia. And he also said, quote, Many of the methods of collective and individual punishment meted out to Palestinian civilians at the hands of young, racist, often sadistic, and ever impervious Israeli soldiers are reminiscent of common Nazi practices against the Jews. So when you are embracing BDS, know that this is what the founder of BDS says. This goes beyond anti-Israeli hatred, it is anti-Semitic hatred. And what is taking so long? This chamber that had no problem rushing to this well, nearly unanimously rejecting white supremacy, meanwhile has a problem rejecting this? Meanwhile, our students, in the name of the BDS movement on college campuses all across this entire country, are being subjected to blatant anti-Semitism. For example, at New York University, the student government passed a resolution supporting BDS. The Brothman Center for Jewish Life was temporarily closed in response to threatening Twitter posts by a student who expressed, quote, a desire for Zionists to die. 
Other college campuses, including University of Michigan professor, refused to write a letter of recommendation for a qualified student to study abroad solely because she was seeking a study abroad in Israel. A Students for Justice in Palestine co-founder and University of California Berkeley professor spoke at a national conference and shared an anti-Semitic meme of an Orthodox Jewish person in his presentation. At Warren Wilson College, an invited speaker said, quote, Jews are doing the same thing to the Palestinians as the Nazis did to the Jews. The examples go on. Whether it was Charlottesville, where the leadership said Jews must die, that he wanted all Jews to die, or whether it was the, the shooting that took place in Pittsburgh, we are motivated, my colleagues and I, to this chamber to stand against anti-Israel and anti-Semitic hatred. Everyone in this chamber should join us. I went through kindergarten through 12th grade, college, law school, four years of active duty, and I never once experienced anti-Semitism. It has no business infiltrating American politics. It has no business infiltrating the campuses of United States universities and colleges, and it has no business infiltrating the halls of Congress. I encourage an immediate vote on House Resolution 72, and I yield back to the gentleman.